doing here? Worst cooking with maple? Um, see. All right, fine. Jeez, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some food items to cook for Cooking with Maple, episode four. We're back. Look, I know, I know, I know, all right? I was supposed to be making potato chips fourth episode. What happened? Well, I didn't, I didn't know how to do it. Yeah. But, I got something better. You ever heard of an Italian cheeseburger? We're doing that, but it's a chicken sandwich. So we got the fries, the chicken, the, the, the rolls, um, I, actually, that, that's about it. I'm not gonna do like any vegetables or anything because I, I don't prefer that. So, yeah. Let's get started. Let's go. We got a lot to cover. It's gonna be a long video. So I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out what kind of chicken I was gonna use, and I decided to go with some chicken breast tenderloin. Now, for our seasoning, we're gonna start with some sasson. Then we're gonna add some simply organic cayenne pepper. You don't have to go with Simply Organic, I'm just, that's just what I got. All right, bear with me. For our flour, we're gonna start with some all-purpose flour because you can just get it cheaply, so why not? Then you're gonna throw in some paprika. You're gonna throw in some cayenne pepper, Simply Organic. <laughs> then you're gonna take like a bag or the bowl that you put the flour in and just gonna shake that up and get them all mixed together. And after that, you just want to put all of your chicken tenderloins in there and just shake up the bag. Okay, so for our fries, we're just using some regular potatoes. I already peeled them before I started recording this section of the video. But you can do it two ways. You can cut the fries long or you can cut the fries short. To cut your fries, make sure you cut one end so it's flat. Now, you just want to take your knife. It could be serrated or it could be a flat edge like, oh, uh, <laughs> But you start cutting your fries if you're doing it the long way, you're gonna cut it like this. If you're doing it the short way, you're gonna turn it horizontally. And yeah, same way. And remember what I said, to test your oil, you're gonna take your hand, write it under some water, and then. Okay, now that we know that our oil is ready, you wanna take your chicken and you wanna drop it in slowly. But drop it in slowly away from you so it doesn't splash and then you get burned. Like a, uh, <clears throat> that guy, yeah. Now, you wanna set those in there for about five minutes, five to seven minutes, but you could go 10, depending on how bold you are and how crispy you want them. Just don't burn them. I didn't burn them, just, just saying. For this sandwich, we're gonna be making our own sauce. So, in order for us to make our own sauce, we're gonna need some mayonnaise, some ketchup, and that's basically it. Now, you're gonna put a spoon of mayonnaise into this little mixing thing, whatever you got. And you're gonna do some ketchup, and then you're gonna throw in some paprika. And then you mix, simple. You could throw extra things in there, but for this one, we're just keeping it plain. And when you're done mixing, it should look something like this. Now for the fries, it's the same process as the chicken, minus the flour. You're gonna drop it in slowly, away from you. And you're just gonna wait for about five to six minutes until they're all crispy. And then you're gonna drag them out, drain them a little bit, and you're gonna throw them inside the strainer. Then season their fries with salt, and that's it. Now, what we're gonna do should be done on all sandwiches. We're gonna toast the bread. The bread that I'm using is Martin's Hoagie Rolls. You can get those for pretty cheap, actually, less than $4. To toast the bread, we're gonna pour some oil into a pan. Then you wanna put the bread in the pan. Me, personally, I would like to press it down just so every part gets toasted, but only do this for about I would say 30 seconds, no more than a minute. Now for our hot sauce that we're gonna use for our spicy chicken sandwiches, it's pretty simple to make. All we're gonna do is just take some cayenne pepper and then we're gonna take the oil that we use to cook the food in while it's still hot and just mix those two together. And just like that, we have our hot sauce. But I do advise you, only put as much cayenne pepper as you think that you can handle because 
Boy, oh boy, the more you put in there, the more spicy it will be. Now it's time to dress our sandwich. First, we're gonna start with the sauce that we made. Now you just wanna take a spoonful and don't just dump it. Go down the bread while shaking all of the excess sauce off. That way you get it coated and you won't have to make another batch, like me. Now that our bread is dressed and we got everything down, it's time to put our chicken on. Now for one side, it's mild. The other side, spicy. For the mild one, you don't have to do much. Just put the chicken on, then throw the fries on there and top off your king. Now for the spicy one, I'm gonna consider it the queen. You're gonna put the chicken on and then you're gonna take a cooking brush and put it inside the hot sauce that we made and just brush your chicken with it. Oh, and uh, side note, don't overdo it or you might possibly die. So yeah, after we brush the hot sauce on the chicken, you can lay down your fries. And after that, you just crown your queen. And then we're done. Oh, also, don't forget to do the little cross section. Mine is uh, very dis disappointing and depressing. Yeah. Oh, uh, thanks for watching Cooking with Maple episode four. Now, if you like the style that I did it in this episode, let me know in the comments down below. But from now on, we're just going to do it that way. But uh, if you guys make something from the show, uh, post it on Instagram and tag me. Thanks for watching. I got to go animate uh, Plastic 2 now on Mapleverse Dark. So I'll see you over there.